Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. In this lesson, we're going to be working on the song and tune Shady Grove, a um, great traditional American folk song. It's been done by a lot of folks. This lesson teaches a sort of embellished melody that I kind of made up um, based on the, the simplified melody, which was the lesson before this, which I, I'm losing count, but I think was lesson three of the Shady Grove series. In lesson one, we worked on just getting some of the chords under our fingers, Lesson two was getting some nice strumming patterns. Lesson three was the simple melody. This is lesson four, the embellished melody. Um, we've been working out of the keys of A minor and D minor. Uh, just like the simple melody, I'm gonna teach this embellished melody by ear. Do try to get it by ear, it's great practice and an important musical skill to learn. That said, if you need help, there are uh, tabs in standard notation over at mandolessons.com along with a bunch of other fiddle tunes and songs that you can learn, um, and a beginner series, all sorts of stuff over there. There's also a couple ways to donate, which really helps me continue to put out lessons. I put out a new lesson every week, and donations are uh, greatly appreciated. That said, the lessons will always be free if that's your choosing. So let's jump right into this new um, embellished melody for Shady Grove, <clears throat> Excuse me, and then I will break it down into sections. Sounds like this. Or in the key, or I'll get to that later. That was in the key of A minor. If you're going to want to do it in D minor, you can use the same trick that I did in the last lesson, just move down a string, but I'll get to that at the end of the lesson. So, um, what, one thing that I'm doing to this is just sort of adding a little shuffle rhythm to long notes in the, um, in the melody. So, with the simplified melody, we're going in the first measure, just four quarter note beats on the open A. And we're still going to just have the open A for this first measure of the embellished melody. We're just going to add a shuffle. So the, sh the basic shuffle pattern is down, 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 or long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long. So just try to get that shuffle pattern into your fingers, into your right hand. And that's a really important um, thing to get into your fingers. It really kind of fills out a melody without doing anything else. Is sort of getting your hand into that automatic shuffle pattern. So we have one shuffle and then two quarter notes. So it's shuffle, quarter, quarter. So long, short, short, long, long. One more time. Next phrase. So that phrase starts in the open A string. <clears throat> Again. So it goes down to the fourth fret on the D string and then fifth fret open. Sorry, fifth fret on the D string. With a shuffle. So that little down up at the end is the shuffle on that fifth fret. <clears throat> So let's put that those two together. Again. Next phrase. So it starts with the shuffle. And then O, oh, two, three, five, O, oh, 
right up the scale, the A minor scale, starting on the open A string. So again, shuffle. O, two, three, five, O. So we have four of those open notes right in a row. Long, short, short, short. So that's three short opens right in a row with that long one at the beginning. Long, short, 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 long. Let's do that one more time. Oh, sorry. And then shuffle again. So that whole phrase with the kind of open E string end sounds like this. So this is shuffling on the open E for that last measure. Let's put that whole first half of the embellished melody together. Sounds like this. And then <clears throat> next phrase starts in the third fret of the E string. Shuffle, shuffle. So it's third fret shuffle and then open fresh uh, sh shuffle. One more time. Next phrase. So this one's got a lot of string crossing. It's all fives, opens, and twos. Five, O oh, on the E string, back to five in the A. Upstroke on two, and then down on fifth fret of the D string. And then finish it off with the shuffle. Five, oh, five, two, five, shuffle. And watch my right hand pick direction. It's down, up, down, up, down, shuffle. And that may feel unfamiliar and kind of awkward at first, but I guarantee if you stick with that pattern, it'll feel much more natural as you learn more tunes. Um, it really keeps your hand moving in one constant pattern that you'll really start to appreciate. So let's do that again. Five, oh, five, two, five, shuffle. Or down, up, down, up, down, down, up. One more. Add that to the phrase before. And then for the last phrase of this melody, I just use a little up and down the scale. And end with a shuffle. Again. So that's O, two, three, five, open on the E, five, three, two, O, right back down the A. And it ends with two shuffles. So let's, I'm going to put that second half all together, starting with, right from there it sounds like this. One more because I didn't quite get it right. So one thing to keep in mind is that this really isn't that far from the melody. You might um, think of this as kind of a solo that you could take if you're playing it in a maybe a bluegrass band or a folk band where the mandolin takes a little lead break. Um, 
but really we're still sticking pretty close to the melody um, adding in a little bit of scale here and there like is about as far from the melody as we ever are gonna get I'm still sort of works if you were to sing that part but it's, it's a little more awkward um, but really just adding that shuffle and a few scales here and there and we've moved to more of a kind of a break or an embellished melody so let's play this whole embellished melody twice through starting on the open a string sounds like this one two here we go And that's the whole embellished melody. Um, again, this isn't something you necessarily need to follow note for note. If something else sounds better to your ears, go with that. Uh, this is just sort of something that I made up on the fly. Um, so that's an A minor. Uh, if you want to play this in D minor, if you've been working on this tune in D minor, um, you can just move everything we just did, but start on the D string. Play that twice through and then I'll send you on your way. One, two, starting on the D string. Here we go. There you have it, the embellished melody in A minor and D minor. Um, check out Mando Lessons for more lessons. Uh, if you missed some of the back lessons or you're looking for the future lessons, they come out once a week. So see you next week for the next lesson. Uh, subscribe if you want to follow along. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.